Hello and welcome back to One Fred Jones Plays Minecraft. This is One Fred Jones. And we're on episode four. So I was over here in the pine, or I mean the spruce forest, gathering us some spruce to finish our house build, and I seen a desert. So I thought, well, let's go check it out a little bit. I got this far and I seen another village. And then I was looking over this way and there's a horse. So let's go check them both out. Let's go look at the horses first. Let's go this way over across the river. Looks like some pretty horses over here. So we got horses and donkeys now. I have one saddle. So I need to decide whether I want a horse or a donkey. It's probably going to be a horse. So maybe by the end of the episode we'll come over here and get us a horse. Very nice horses. I'm not even going to try to tame any of them right now. But I am going to go over here to the village. This is a different desert. The other desert we were in is over that direction where we found the other one. This is a totally different desert and it's still not that far from our house. This is the first time I've ever seen this desert before. Hopefully we get a uh, yeah one of those guys. You know what I'm talking about. Blacksmith. I knew I'd figure it out sooner or later. Let's see. Man, that's some expensive bread. What's this guy got? That's oh, expensive apple. Another expensive apple. Oh, having such a hard time getting everything to load in. You know it's the first time I've been here. The way the lighting is and everything. And how difficult it is for everything to load in. See, I could have stole some bookshelves from right here. Look at that. Let's see. These guys are sure noisy. That's, so that's three villages all, all in our one little area. Let's get rid of this water for these guys. Where is that coming from? It's coming from nowhere. It's the nowhere water. Look at that. Where's the source block at? That did not look like a source block to me. That was weird. I don't think we got a blacksmith. Dang it. very dark. It's not good. What else we got? This village is much bigger than the other desert village we found. But there's still not much to it. Alright guys. Well I showed you the horses and the village we just found not very eventful I know again I hope it will I actually wish it would a temple we'll go see I I don't quite have enough spruce yet but it is getting dark I'll probably just go ahead and head home right now and see you back there okay guys we're back here at home and we're gonna work on the house a little bit I went ahead and just got some saplings and brought them over here and I planted them out here so that we could farm that for our wood for the rest of the house build. There's our spruce and some birch and then some oak. But um, I was thinking we can definitely do better with the front of this house. Um, I want windows in the front so I think we're going to ex open up the front a little bit where these come like this we're gonna come over one more block come out like this and then maybe back in and then uh, put
put a window back here too but that way we'll be able to put windows in the front so let's try that see if we can't fix our little window problem in the front so, oh and something else I want to show you guys before we get too excited here is I move most of our stuff over here got the trap chest chest trap chest chest all the way around um, organized things got redstone there food or farm items there uh, mob drops all that good stuff tools and armor wood miscellaneous these are just blocks different blocks and stuff we need to grab this while we're here and we're going to need to grab some of this while we're here and then this one is stuff we found in dungeons there's our one saddle and our diamonds and our gold and our iron in this one I mean I really didn't go real in depth as far as um, how we're going to do everything and as you can tell they're not like shift click compatible I didn't go quite that far with them either but um, they are set up pretty well so we got everything organized okay so now let's go over here and I want to go ahead and take this one out and this one out this out you take that one out as well get our hot bar hot bar all set up and I think if we go ahead and right here and put these right here they come out to here three let's do four we'll see how it looks we'll have to move our crafting bench and stuff here let's do that right now and then throw down some dirt I didn't really want it to be too horribly big, but I do want some nice windows in the front. So let's just kind of check this out and see where it goes. Oops. That there. Hmm. And one right there. And some more dirt. That right there. This way we can do a window, decent window, on this side, we could maybe even, well I don't know, let's look at it, might be too wide, that's what I'm thinking anyways, it's too wide, we can come back one maybe, and then hook it back around into that part right there, so let's see. Yeah, I actually think it is too wide. The house is just getting too big. I don't want it to be too big. Let's go ahead and try this now. One, two. Um, that's fine. We'll do that. That. And this. Tear this out and let's go pillar her back up and see what it looks like. I played back that little bit of video that I took at the beginning of the episode and oh no that looks horrible can't do that maybe I don't know let's see if we change some stuff up a little bit but anyways and I realized I really need a new mic that's gonna be one of my goals for the near future is to get a different mic I don't like this mic see I think it's too wide we're gonna have to take this out our window is probably only going to be one wide like that unfortunately let's do this try these right here 
same place, same, same. Okay. Wonder how that's going to look. Let's pillar up again. Actually, let's go ahead and take this out as well. And do this. I think that's actually going to be better. I don't know. We'll see. Still don't like it. Hmm. I thought for sure that that'd fix it. Okay, let's try one more thing. I don't want to spend this whole episode trying to work out this front part, but um, we'll try one more thing. And throwing our pickaxe was not it. Back all this back up. where it was. Take that out. Horrible builder. Horrible, horrible builder. Oh, that's not where I want that. I want to go ahead and move that to here. Like so. Do this. That, that, and that. And then we can take that, 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 okay. And we're just basically, I guess we can just mirror that other side now, really. So that one's there, put this one here, come over like so. See how this looks. I think that might actually be what we're looking to do. It's better. Um, I don't know. When you start working with curves and, and almost circles like this, it's almost better just to go really big, but I think that might work if we extend that just a little bit longer. Let's try that real quick. Come over here. Okay. Oh, wrong one again. Again, I'm going to go, I'll throw in all these different contrasting blocks and stuff and probably just show you what I did. How do we want that? Like this? work. Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. Actually, I like that a lot. It might cause a little bit of problems when we try to do our roof, but I think we're going to do that. I'm going to model that on the other side. Um, go ahead and throw in some more of our half slabs and areas that I think need it and then I'll get back with you guys and show you what I did. Alright guys, well I got it all worked out I think. And there it is. So I basically, we had all this done, I just added the the half slabs there and then I ran it around, did the same thing on the other side and then I had to actually bring this wall in one block because we were only three wide in the back and uh, I had to make it four wide in the back to to match the front right there but I think that's pretty good uh, it's pointed out to me that looks like a, a chest plate which was a total accident but I think it's pretty awesome so let's uh, finish getting everything moved over here and then we'll work on the, the roof later 
but that's the way that's going to look. We'll landscape all this stuff later as well. I really don't want to change the terrain too much. I don't want to do too much landscaping, but uh, some of it's got to change. But I did put some doors on the front here. And I am going to change this where we get how we get down into our basement. I'm not exactly sure how we do it. We may do it today. But I went ahead and went and grabbed our enchantment table and I decided that we would put it right here. Throw those down there. Just like we had it down in our little cave. Look at this. Also grabbed our furnaces and stuff. So there's that. I bet we can get a 30 level enchant. Let's see what it says. And we can. So that's that. I think that's a pretty good spot for it. We might be put a little chest right here or something. Kind of work that out. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and put our furnaces for right now. I'll get some more furnaces. Well, shoot, we can make them right now. Let's go make some furnaces. If I have the cobblestone, we'll make them right now. Okay, I have to remember how I organized everything. 21. How many do we need? Does anybody remember? Because I don't. Was two what we needed? I think two was what we needed. That one, yep, that one there. Okay, and then we can take our hoppers. Like I said, later on we'll build a big fancy smelting system where you just throw your items in a chest and it distributes it all to all the furnaces and then you pick it up out of a chest when you're done won't get any XP that way but you know right now we want the XP later it may not be that big of a deal so then we got that there and that there we've got these windows uh, let's see what some glass looks like in the windows that's in this chest as well I think I want to do some panes. See how those look. If we don't like it, we'll change it later. We'll go ahead and throw one right here. Nice. One over here. I don't really know what else we would do. I don't like the idea of iron bars, but. Yeah, I think the glass is going to be fine. And we'll have to make a little bed area somewhere to put our bed because right there is not where it's going to stay. Um, got our stores downstairs. Smelting over there. Enchantment over there. We could do a potion brewing stands over here maybe. And I mean everything's going to be pretty basic in this house. And we'll live here while we're building another house which will have all the fancy cool stuff. Automatic smelting, automatic brewing stands, all that good stuff. And you know what, while I'm thinking about it, we've got the iron down here. And I think, yeah, get the iron. Not that we're going to use it right now, but let's go ahead and make We're gonna need. I was gonna make all these into blocks anyway, so we'll just do that. Make us an anvil and go put it down up here. Kind of make this place a home without a roof. Let's hope it don't rain. And then I want to put some chests as well. Oh, I've got plenty of wood for chests. How many do I want? Uh, one more. That click and drag is awesome, but you could very easily make way too much stuff. Put one of our chests on this side, like that. Put one right there. And then we'll put those right there and we'll put books we start enchanting books we'll put them in here um, tools maybe that we enchant that we 
don't necessarily want to use right away. And there's that. Well, it seems pretty homey to me. Is there anything else we need to do? Let's throw these in here. I guess I could split them up. Well, we're we'll not worry about it right now. Like that. Cool. So, I think that's going to be all for this episode. I really don't know how long it is, but I know the last one was way too long. So, next episode we'll probably go to the nether and get stuff we need, or try to get the stuff we need for brewing stands. And, uh, you know, hopefully we find a blaze spawner and work that out a little bit. But another thing we definitely need to do next episode is a farm. I already started a little potato farm over here because I'm having to, I mean, I've got all these animals, they're all over the place, but I'm having to get into where I'm having to go way out to get my animals now, so I'm going to eat potatoes until we can start breeding all the animals. I don't know, I kind of like these trees like this around here. Oh, real quick, something else I wanted to show you guys. I started working on the house today, and I started hearing mobs down here, so I came and I looked. And there was a little cave system in here. So I followed it around. And I went all the way down this way. It goes down quite a ways. And about here I realized, you know what, this thing might just hook up with our cave system that we were in before. So I followed it this direction. I had ran out of torches at this point, obviously. So I followed it over here. And you see where it opens up to the sky? That's our river right by our farm. Or our sugarcane farm. Swim up real quick. See, there's our sugarcane. You go down here, and if you go this direction where Mr. Zombie is, there's our abandoned mine shaft. Same one I was playing in earlier. And we spawned in right over here. near, Very near the river. Had I just taken a right instead of a left at Albuquerque, I probably would have fell right in that hole. And we'd have been right in the middle of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. These cave, This cave system is amazing. It runs forever and ever and ever. It's a perfect cave system to have when you first start out in the game. Because I got, as you guys know, everything I needed to really get going. But anyways... I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks. Have a good night. Bye.